So I talked a big game about, like, stocking up everyone's ammo. I'm just gonna have to hope for the, for the best that they just, like, give me access to a bunch of ammo right before any big confrontation in whatever character or characters are involved in said combat. Although I think I might have a decent amount right now, just from playing through this level and running past all the enemies, but trying to grab some boxes along the way. Yeah. He's doing alright-ish. Yeah. Uh, I tried to think of every single planet I've ever been to, and any stores I've ever seen, and every single one of them was like... Pretty far into a level, past a lot of combat, and so on. Sometimes in the second or third level of the, of the mission, or I mean the planet. And I'm like, I don't... Let's not. <laughs> I don't want to fly all three people to that planet and then have them all stock up. It would be nice if he just started planets with ammo, but no. Nope. We'll just have to hope things work out. <laughs> I don't know, man. At last, you have all the parts, and not a moment too soon. Let's get to work before Mizar can make his revenge complete. Mind if I tag along? He's coming with us. Bum ba bum, bum ba bum. See, I told you to let me drive. Okay, okay. You two stay here and help Jeff fix it up. I'll go scout out the surface. Miser can't be too far away. How? Shouldn't you help fix it? Are you telling me Lupus is gonna help fix it? Does Lupus have a little R2-D2 arm I've never seen before? I think he's just got a gun and tank treads, <laughs> and no arms. <laughs> but sure, Lupus, stick it. You, 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 you and your hovering ability would help you scout. But sure, just hang out. Now this is interesting because here we officially hit the stage where the, I have zero nostalgia and I have no idea what I'm looking at. And I've never been here before because, of course, as a kid, I never did the tribal hunt. I wasn't sure when the drop off was of stuff I stopped seeing. Because especially since like some of the um, le a lot of the later levels are like in the same tile set of the original levels, so they're still familiar-ish. So it's hard to remember. But like this is new. This is completely new. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck, rare? Rare. There's just a planet right there. That's the planet. It's right. It's like five feet away. <laughs> Why did they? This isn't just a port thing or a high resolution thing. Put it like revealing the the cracks in this design. Like it's right there. 
like the high resolution revealing cracks in the design is like how you can see the tiling on the top of the skybox up there and like you probably couldn't see that on the Nintendo 64 as well but also that was more common back then but like wow either the planet should have been further away or it probably should have been like a texture on the skybox like oh wow out there in the distance we're approaching it because, like, when I walk around, you can't generally see the skybox moving. So you don't have a sense that of how close it is. So you can just accept it as a skybox. That planet is clearly, like, five feet behind this wall. Like, I can look up at it <laughs> if I walk up to it. Like, it's definitely right there. Like, am I supposed to think this asteroid is, like, crashing directly into the planet right now and is frozen in time and space in the middle of crashing into it? And, like... Also, like, right here, past here is just, like, a cliff, I guess, because at the end of the asteroid, like, the level that, if you look just like this, and you don't see the planet, you just see the walls around me, the suggestion seems to be that we're in a crater on the asteroid, and the asteroid continues in each direction, because it's just a big asteroid, and you can, like, run around on the outside of it, like, in the outer worlds. But then that's, like, clipping through my brain space of where the asteroid should still be, because it's just, like, a giant beach ball that is my home that's getting killed. Oh. Sorry, I just had to comment on that. that that's so... I've never quite seen something quite like that. Like, a, th like a thing where something so, just so thoroughly is, like, not really succeeding at representing what it's trying to, to, to show. It's really funny. Ooh, it's really blue here. Pretty much have to fall down, right? Can I even get back up? Yes, I can. There's two caves here. This is interesting. Everything in this game has been vaguely familiar until now. Uh, these guys are best killed with rockets. But I'm coming up on a boss fight and I do not want to be out of rockets. I assume I'm coming up on a boss fight. Like, surely you end the game by killing Mizar. And he's probably tougher this time. Because it's the final boss fight. I hate tower shield guys so much. They really are the worst. Hey, they give me plasma shotgun ammo. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that the secret? You just run up close to them? Explodey! Whoa! Oof. 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 Are you okay, buddy? Are you... <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Oh my god, this new strategy. I don't know how I'll keep up with it. <clears throat> there we go. I'm gonna blow through my shotgun ammo at this rate. It's so hard. It's just so hard. Like, I know that part of him is technically unshielded, but, like, it's incredibly difficult to aim at that part. And then you have how much he moves around, and you're like, uh, I'm, I'm fucked. This is it. <laughs> Am I... Oh, yeah. Look at me. They tried to stick it out with the reflections. It looks weird, though, because, like, it's just white. Like, I'm perfectly represented in it, but the world around me isn't. It's just white. Bit of a strange... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I really don't want to go into the final fight, fight without enough rockets. And I don't know if they'll give them to me or not. Can't always trust them. That stocks up a few of my ammo types. Try rocket Okay, so I could have just used try rockets this whole time. That's admittedly not a boss fight either. That's just an end... Just an end hallway.
My god, okay, fucking... Uh, <sighs> Alright, let's use rockets. I can't wait for when I get to a boss fight and I'm like, damn. I'm totally fucked and can't do the boss fight now because I have out of rockets. I... What are... I just... I don't... This game is so strange. Rare... I guess it's just rare making a shooter is so strange. And they kind of did just kind of like throw out a bunch of weapons almost at random. Like there's a flamethrower and a lightning gun, but like... Why do like I look at these I look at these weapons and I'm like why do 80% of them exist? It's pretty much because you you basically just played the entire game with the huh, the shotgun, the sniper rifle. I mean sorry, not the shotgun, the shotgun's garbage. The sniper rifle, the machine gun, and the rock and the tri-rocket launcher are pretty much the only weapons that matter. Oh. Oh, it's a funhouse mirror. Shit. Um, I'm just gonna go through here real quick. Y'all have fun back there? I don't think I need to fight you guys, bye. <laughs> they seem nice. A lot of big guys. They were not ready for me. Where am I? I'm now above that spot. Hey! Well, that one's red, so I guess it's, that's the backwards direction. But where? Oh, uh, I don't want to go in there because I'll lose my jetpack. When I went in that cave at the beginning, was the pla was the door on top that one? Was I not? Because I would I, I'd be a little distressed if I could have skipped all that really easily like that. I'm not sure. Bye, guys. I probably have to fight them. Oh, there's Floyd. For a minute there, I thought he was gone. <gasps> uh... ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum -bum. 170% accuracy. That's interesting. They count your accuracy as how many shots land per time you sh shoot. And since the tri rockets is a triple fire, they all count. Interesting. Then is it is this it? Am I there? Am I crazy? If that was the setup for the boss fight, did they not have any health? I don't think there was any health pickups. Oh shit! Yeah, shit. <laughs> Do you feel my health automatically? By any chance? They just both show up just in time to get stomped. Huh. 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 
Why are they different colors? What does that mean? Did that, do I need to learn what those mean? Oh my god, there's so many. Ah. Um. How do I? F I don't know how to fight bosses still. Oh my fucking god, I'm dead. What the fuck? I just lost all of my health, just like that. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Wait, what the? What the fuck, man? What the? F I supposed to lose? No, I wasn't. What the f fuck? Like what? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like he just killed me, like instantly, and I couldn't even tell how to hurt him. I. <laughs> These boss fights are just... They sure are a thing, aren't they? Jesus Christ. Okay. I had to check. Apparently that is like a jump rope mechanic where he, sh he, 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 t he puts lightning on the platform and then he moves it back and forth and you have to jump over it. But every time I see instances of other people encountering that attack, he does it from really far away. And it's very clearly a, like a... A one point of attack that you goes back and forth and you jump over it. On mine, it was like diagonal across the entire platform and it looked like it was hitting everything at once. So, like, I don't know if that was a bug. Haha, <laughs> puns. Or what? We'll see. Oh my god. Ugh. As far as I can tell from before, his weak his weak spot seems to be his back. You seem to get like a reaction out of shooting it. Oh shit, he just hit me directly. Rude. Uh. Yes, yeah, so that's what's going on. Uh. This is really hard. Uh. What? Really? What the fuck, man? That is an unacceptable amount of damage. Like, I instantly lose- I lost two entire chunks of health. Not- like, not individual health pieces. I lost two entire he what? Okay, cool. How the fuck do you tell where he's gonna hit? I- <laughs> How do you avoid the attack if you can't see where it's gonna come from? I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna die playing this game. I can't believe this is real. Do I at least have infinite continues? Am I even in a level right now? Maybe I have infinite continues. I... <laughs> These attacks can't be doing the right amount of damage, right? What the fuck? I have five... I think I technically have six entire health bars. I don't have a dodge roll, like, man. <laughs> Uh, 
Did I just take damage anyway? Shit. Ah, shit, he didn't turn around that time. This camera is not helping me. <laughs> if, you're, if it's not clear, I'm stuck in, like, aiming mode. It doesn't turn off. You can't... I'm always in aiming mode. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know if I can beat this game, guys. I don't know if this is gonna happen. I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is this real? Is this a real game? Is this boss fight for fucking real? <sighs> Let me skip this, please. I I don't I, I don't feel good at all about my chances. I definitely am like, oh no, am I fucked? <laughs> is this playthrough dead? <laughs> this is so cartoonishly difficult. My health bar means nothing. He just deletes it from existence. And like, I don't know how the fuck you dodge those attacks. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> God damn it! I'm trying to dodge these attacks, I swear. You, I, I don't know where his fucking arm's gonna go. And this, this lock-on only works sometimes? You, you can't tell where he's gonna hit. It doesn't mark the place he's gonna hit with his arm. So you can't, like, dodge it. He'll, sometimes he'll hit it where you're about to go, sometimes he'll hit it on the other side of the platform. And you're supposed to both dodge the attack itself and the shockwave that comes out of it. Meanwhile, this 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 lightning thing has no invincibility frames. Like, any mess up you do, it just burns through several health bars. I'm so confused by the existence of this entire boss fight and its difficulty. God damn it! Uh, I'm getting really lucky right now. He just hit me directly with that. I think he did. Come on. He's doing it again. Oh. Now this is an incredibly avoidable attack. Did any of that hit? Huh. God damn it, I still got hit. This is too this this is stressful. This is more stress than I was prepared to experience playing this game right now. Huh. I think he direct hit me again. God damn it. Camera angle, come on. I can't see the platform. I'm trying to experiment with like pointing the reticle in different directions, which sometimes is helpful and other times isn't. Am I out of shots? Fuck, that's not good. Uh. Fuck. Oh, I can't jump when this is out. Shit. Uh. <sighs> Ooh, Am I even making progress? Like, how much health does he have? I have no idea. I have no idea how much health he has. Shit, 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 shit. Did I just do all this work just to die here? I just did this whole tribal hunt so that I could get here and had to stand no chance against a boss. Uh... Hey, got a little damage I took. Lock onto him, damn it.
He just hit me directly with it. God damn it. Fuck. What? Oh shit, I'm late. Oh. Whoa. Explosion happened. Was it what's up there? Oh. I thought it blew up his thing. Shit. I thought we were there. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh. Oh, God damn it! This attack doesn't make sense. Did I hit it at all? Did I do any damage there? I can't tell. I did, okay, I heard some damage. <gasps> Something blew off. Is that a transition between phases when he does this? I don't know. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's really hard to aim. I'm trying. I heard a little lightning. Oh. Uh. I don't think any of that hit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. I did the damage because my health bar popped up. They're so slow, they don't hit them. God damn it. Fuck! Ah. Uh, I thought I was doing so good. Fuck. Are you allowed to change planets?
Asteroid. It's off of Mizar's palace. Maybe you can. Even though the they're repairing the ship and stuff. Uh. Mm -hmm. I, I I have no idea how long the fight is, so I can't even tell how far I am in it. Shit. The answer might be to just get more homing rockets. If it lets me leave the planet, maybe I can find more homing rocket upgrades. Interesting. I don't know if I can really reliably get more ammo upgrades for Juno, but they're apparently called ammo backpacks, I guess, or weapon or, or weapon backpacks or whatever. <clears throat> and the advice that is given is that in order to beat Mizar more easily, you should avoid picking up ammo backpacks as Vela and Lupus as much as possible because Juno's the one that does the final boss fight and apparently they share. So they apparent apparently all those ammo upgrades were not like spawning for each individual character, but instead were just in the environment and whoever picks them up permanently is the one who has them and then other people can't get them. Which is rough. <laughs> that is not what I want to hear. Fuck. <laughs> nothing, nothing about that is good news to me. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> not my best not my best start. I don't know how you avoid most of these. Uh. Can you lock on please? Try not to waste my ammo. Thank you. So now it's too late to fire though. It's weird. Once you have lock on, it seems to stay on for the entire fight. But getting that first lock on is hard. Fuck, man! What the? F <sighs> it goes at a different speed every time. Fuck! Fuck this fight! 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 Oh my goodness. He just took out 50% of my health instantly. That lightning of power makes no sense how much damage it does. It's insane. Like, frankly, when I finally beat this, I'm gonna feel like I got lucky. Because even that one attempt that was going really well until I abruptly died, and I was like, what? I thought I was winning this time. Like, even that time, like, it felt like I was just getting lucky. Lock on! I can't fire till you lock on, because it'll waste the ammo. Thank you. Ah, he didn't do it. He, he thought he usually does three. So the electricity moves at a completely different speed every single time. And you don't know where it's going to spawn, and you don't know which direction it's going to go in, and you don't know how fast it's going to be going. But you do know that it'll fucking delete you if it hits you. And your mobility is so low, like your character barely responds to your attempts to move the- to dodge that kind of attack. It's just really rough. Oh fuck, I missed my chance. I'm so focused on dodging the attacks. I'm trying to do two attacks per time, which means I'll have to live longer. Ah, fuck! Sam reflexively trying not to waste time, but then he didn't turn around that time. So I wasted the ammo anyway. It's remarkable how there's no- there is no real balance between all these different attacks. 
Other ones are comically easier to avoid, and then this one's a nightmare. But only sometimes, because he changes the speed every time. That's That first one didn't hit the right spot. Shit. Oh. Progress. I think this is a phase transition, because it always seems to happen after he, like, visibly takes damage on his back. So maybe rule of threes will apply? I lost my lock-on. Shit. I need the lock-on. Please! Damn it, that one hit- I'm hitting like his butt or something. I'm not getting sparks, which means it's hitting something else. F I only got to attack him once! Because my lock-on went away. Shit. Uh, I'm almost certainly burning through more ammo than I should be. They're not hitting his backpack. The homing missile isn't reliable. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not getting... So that time I got sparks twice. The other times I keep not getting sparks twice. The sparks noise is only happening like once. And then the first explosion just didn't hit anything. Shit. I can't rely on my own guns to work the way I want them to. I only have two rockets left, and there's like a whole other phase, at least. This is a, this wa this attempts a wash. I can just hope that I keep refining really specific things about how I shoot and move, that hopefully we'll have a better attempt later. I don't think I can reliably do damage to him with this weapon. So I'm probably fucked. <clears throat> Fuck. Fuck. Did I do any damage? I can't tell. That's hitting me! Shit, I took damage from that? I thought that was me doing it right. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm so fucking fucked! <laughs> and then he just direct hits me. Because that claw goes wherever it feels like and just- there's no rules to it. He just hit me directly with it, and then I can't dodge the fucking shockwave. Ah! Uh. All right. We just keep going. 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 Lock onto him, please. 
Please lock onto him. Please lock onto him. comes the claw. I'm trying to shoot over his weird legs because his butt legs like get like keep in shit. It is funny how his attacks just vary wildly from, like, hilariously ineffective to cartoonishly evil. Fuck. Fuck! Yes. Jumping does not seem to actually let me avoid things. Shit, I took a lot of damage that time. You can see why he spams his attack so much, because it's the only one that's good. The only other thing that ever really hits me is the, uh, the shockwave. And that's much less. Oh my god, I hit him. I got him down twice, and I'm down two-thirds of my ammo. If it's rule of threes, then I can potentially do the next round of these with the amount of ammo I have. And then we just have to hope that's enough. I'm taking damage. Uh, they even collide with each other, which is pretty funny. Oh god. Oh, I lost my lock on. Shit. Lock on. Thank you. I only have to hit him once. Yes, please do everything except lightning. Please. Shit, here it comes. Ugh. Oops, shit. last two rockets then desperation sets in I hit his butt damn it I hit his stupid not da not the right thing but fuck fuck now how am I gonna damage him oh shit I'm out of rockets my other rockets don't home so they don't end up hitting him in the back I've never confirmed damage with them so far as far as I can tell
Damn it, I hit his stupid butt thing. His leg butt. <laughs> butt leg. Back. One that's in the way all the time. Uh. I didn't hear a single spark. I heard a little bit, but I have no idea if it's doing good damage or not. I wish there was any feedback about damage in this game. Health bars do so much for video games. Like, boss fight health bars should not be underappreciated. There's so much, this gives you such vital information as a player about, like, whether or not you're even playing the game right or not. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, it's breaking my soul. <laughs> That attack is the only one that does damage, and it does impossible damage. Fuck. <laughs> and for all I know, like, I don't even know where I would get ammo upgrades, but even if they exist, I might have picked them up already as Lupus and Vela? Why is that a mechanic in the game? That Lupus and Vela can get all the item upgrades that Juno needs when Juno's the one that does the final boss fight, because you don't get to pick who you play as? Lock on, please. Yeah, the key to the weird breath move is to walk slowly. Because otherwise you're not a platform. Yes. Looks like six. No, seven. I think because I think the second the second rocket I did didn't connect because he's already he already changed phases. But I think you have to connect seven times if the damage is consistent, which I can't tell. Because that kind of information is obscured to the player. That was two hits. Four. Yep. Yep, shit. Fuck! Six. It is, it's seven hits. That, that helps me avoid hitting, shooting two rockets at him on the seventh hit, because then the second rocket gets wasted. Ooh, do I still have lock-on on him? Am I gonna end this phase still having lock-on? Are they gonna not take it from me this time? Yes. That's good news. Two. Four. Six. Is that fuck? It's, it didn't work, apparently. 
fuck? Why isn't he dying? Shit. His health works differently in this phase or something. Huh. Shit, shit. Fuck, now he's doing the attack, too. He kind of wasn't doing it, and that's why I've lasted so well this round. He just kind of RNG didn't pick this move, which is the only strength, the only dangerous one. Come on, hit him back. <gasps> oh my god, that hero rocket coming back at me and saving me. Oh fuck, there's- no, 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 don't give me a phase two. Fuck. Alright, well now he can't fly away. Fuck you, rockets. Oh my god, it's working. I'm just spamming rockets, I have 40, fuck you. His arm's off, that's good, right? <laughs> fuck you. Ah, <laughs> free me. Let me go home. <laughs> oh, that's pretty definitive, isn't it? Oh, my God. I got so lucky. He just didn't use the lightning attack till, till like, the end. Hi, characters that I used old game and also liked both of you more than this guy, but you don't get to matter, so all of your upgrades get thrown into the garbage, apparently, in the final fight. Yay! What the? Barry, what are you doing? You know him? He's my brother. He left, but he left the colony. I had to leave, Jeff. I couldn't stand it. I was always, I was always, you, what? You next in line to be king. You, I couldn't live with your shadow any longer. I, have, I had to have my share of the limelight, which is why I created Mizar. What? I can't believe it, my own brother. You'd put so much at risk? I'm sorry, Jeff, I lost control. <laughs> I never intended for things to get this far. The Federation will want to know. No, Juno, this is our business. It, you blew up our planet, almost. We'll take it back to Goldwood with us. You concentrate on stopping the asteroid. This is our business? You were going to blow up... The thing's loaded with explosives. As Mizar, I'd have destroyed it before impact. Why? But now we'll never reach the core in time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I may be of assistance. There are plenty of fishes wide enough. I can get to the core. It's your only chance. Floyd, you don't have to do this. Yeah, you do. Do it. Everyone's gonna die. You definitely have to do it. Maybe. Not so long. I wouldn't have... I, I wouldn't have. Now I know what it's... I would like to... Be. Time's running short. Load me up. It has been an honor to know you, Jet Force. <laughs> the, the font is always a struggle. It just really rapidly switches out, and then I have to readjust, and then I lose track of... And it's just... It's just, it's just I'm fucked. It's, this is our business? Excuse me, you're sending an asteroid at our planet. Of course this game ends with a Floyd mission. Also, are you telling me that you were going to blow it up before it hit Earth? So you were going to just not blow up our planet? So this entire... Are you telling me that this entire story was fake? Like, we just did, we just went through all this work to, and all we did, all we accomplished was threatening the planet even more. If we didn't fight Mizar, he was going to just blow up the asteroid anyway. But he's on the asteroid. Like... Was Barry gonna kill himself? He's a bear named Barry. But was Barry gonna kill himself on this asteroid? Like, why is he so fucking committed? What a weird, what a weird nonsensical villain. 
I'm so... It's so strange. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck somehow? Oh, it's glass. That was not apparent. I thought I was somehow got stuck on the ceiling. This is a cool looking, like, level shape. This crevice. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> I think we're all gonna die. Oh, made it. Yay, Floyd, my hero. Oh. Oh no. He closed his eyes as he died. Is he dead or are we gonna have cartoon logic where it's like, oh no, he's just in pieces. You gotta put him back to Oh, there's pieces of him going everywhere. Maybe maybe they put him back together. I don't necessarily need this on my consciousness, going like going back and being like, oh yeah, that game you play as a kid, yeah, the, the one of the characters dies at the end. <laughs> Surprise. You're welcome. Good thing you came back and played it, right? <clears throat> that Vela looked hilarious, by the way. It was the not Vela. I think I know what that's from. You can look up footage of uh, Jet Force Gemini that's like alpha footage of a game that they almost made. I think these ships we're seeing right now and and that Vela we saw a second ago were like alpha character models for the first version of the game that then, then were replaced with this one. I think that's actually what that was. So I guess that guy's from the Federation. The green guy. Oh, they're, they're 2D models. I mean, 2D pictures. That's funny. It's the Federation. They're all so happy with us. It's like, it's just a bunch of Junos, like, squished and stretched in a bunch of different ways. And then in the front of one side, there's like Vela's with wigs. Oh, they keep switching out. Oh, the perspective's freaking me out. Hey. It sounded like they punched each other. <laughs> Yay, we did it. They, like, properly committed to the dance moves. You you wish whatever race you played in WoW could dance like that. Wait, it's still making the sound, but there's no credits on the screen. Did they stop loading? <laughs> I don't know. We might be looping. Oh, they're back.
Stamper. Probably not Stamper. More Stampers. There's so many Stampers. Hey, is it the victory screen? It is. Floyd's dead. <laughs> they, they don't rebuild him. There's no like, it's okay kids scene. Floyd is gone. There's a noticeable gap on the left side of the screen where he would be if he was alive and he's gone. Oh my goodness. I guess I kept changing level of detail over and over again. So I have, I have Juno and Vela and Lupus. Juno, Vela, and Lupus upgraded, I guess. Blue ant, red ant, yellow ant. You can play as the tribals? Brown beetle, purple beetle. I like purple beetle. Zombie beetle, I think? Those are, those are, those are all the characters I have, apparently. I need a second controller. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. Give me a second. Did I fire up the second controller a second? Uh, let's sync that up. Alright, I think we got it. Do do do. Ba -ba. I admittedly don't like tank lupus as much as normal lupus necessarily. Game type, battle type, level. SS Anubis, Tough Fret, Rith Essa, Close Quarters, Rith Essa Mine, Space Station, Tunnels, King of the Hill. It's a bunch of maps. Weapons heavy. Radar normal, time limit. Yeah. I just want to start it. I just want to show you guys this. So yeah, this was a, uh, this was Jet Force Gemini. This King of the Hills, the one with the thing in the middle. Yep. Oh yeah, we used this map a lot growing up. So you can still use a character's abilities, so characters are objectively better than each other in this game. There's people that have better hitboxes and that are faster and have more health and so on and so forth. But like there's item, there's weapon pickups in the environment, there are health pickups. They use the tile set from the main missions. And she run around in those. So every time I picked up a totem, I was either unlocking a new character or I was unlocking a new map. And they have these too, these unique these unique icons to represent which uh, am which gun and ammo you're getting, which is interesting because like that's like I, I get that they, they're I think they're dual purpose. You both get the weapon that way and you get the ammo that way at the same time, uh, so they have to be dual purpose. Unlike how you normally get weapons, but honestly, it's kind of nice how this is this is a nice way to show ammo. In the main campaign, you never see ammo that way, so you're like, was what what type of ammo is this? And you're just like, I don't know. And then you just pick it up and you're like, oh, okay. Could have saved that till after the fight, if I knew that. And yeah, the, it's called King of the Hill because there's this tower in the middle that's just covered in spawns. But it has invincibility, but it also keeps periodically spawning weapons and ammo and health pickups up there constantly. So you just kind of want to... Having control over that part of the map means that you can constantly have more equipment coming your way. And it's also old school video game, like, split screen. What's he sound like? So if you play as other characters, they sound like Juno, which is a little weird. I think they even hold their guns? Like, yeah. It's a little odd. <laughs> look, how, look how fucking weird he, he looks running around with his pistol. Pew pew! The strangest visual. Nintendo 64, everybody. So yeah, I was looking at that crowd during the ending, and as far as I can tell, they had like a level of detail thing going on, and the LOD setting kept changing over and over again. So, on top of having the really weird 2D stand-ups of all the characters, they were also doing this thing where they kept, uh... Oopsie. They kept just deleting all the character models, basically. Oh, is this, this the, is that the one... I think this is the first room of SS Anubis? 
Yeah, this room would function as like an arena, wouldn't it? Uh, there's a small change. I think they added that and that in the middle. I don't think these three boxes were here in the middle. There also used to be a ledge up there, but like the layout is largely the same, I think. And you, this game had four player, I believe it had four player uh, local multiplayer. I think it benefited from the uh, expansion pack that Nintendo 64 had that increases the amount that increased the amount of uh, storage space. So I'm sure I didn't unlock everything. I'm sure there's more. But I got but I'm sure I got a lot of it too. Bunch of characters, bunch of maps. Decent amount of choice here. Um I know that one of the things you can get is if, the, if you want to be the cyborg, the cyborg beetle that's like half metal and everything with the terminator eye, uh, you actually need to get a, a gold rating on every Floyd mission in the entire game. No thank you. <laughs> no thank you. But yeah, this also might be part of the reason why I never beat the game actually. I actually remember these map layouts a fair bit. Like I remember this little bunker up here and how to hop up here. Like it's, it's, I mean, not, not, not like you have to solve it or anything, I just mean like I, it's familiar to me. This is neat. I've got nobody to play with right now. And even if I did, it would be potentially cruel and unfair, because I might just crush them because I know how to play the game, and nobody else has played this game for 20 years. <laughs> nobody! Oh, I think this was my favorite map. On some level, I've always liked purple. But this is also like a bunker, yeah, there's like a bunker layout. Where like the top is like straight across, but then there's a bunch of these little like, little weird, like troughs everywhere. So you drop down just a little bit as lupus and now you're harder to shoot. Then you drop down lower, and there's like tunnels leading to the other areas. So it's like a, it's a pretty interesting map layout. And I think there's like some crawl spaces that you can only get through by crawling. Like especially low ones. Close quarters. That's, yeah, this is another Rith Esso map. It's got the same palette. Looks like you can climb out. A lot harder to make this jump as Lupus. A lot harder to make this jump as Lupus. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're so skatey in this game. So intensely skatey. You just slide everywhere. Oh fuck. It's not happening. But I believe you could climb up on top. Oh, there's here's next here's an outside one. There you go. So then you can fight around on top of on top of the buildings as well as inside of them. I think I liked the Rith SM maps a lot. Back then. Rith as a mine. Hello. Does this even open? It does? How big is this level, I wonder? Now I'm all curious. Oh, there's invincibility in the elevator. Is there another way out of here? How do you get up there? That's not where the other guy is right now, right? I don't want to wait for the elevator. Kind of chaos is this map? 
I think it's like three floors of combat. With this middle floor having a big hole that drops down to the bottom, and then you only can get back to the top floor by taking the elevator at that point, if you fall down. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. Like, that's some invincibility. This tunnel goes down, down, down towards weapons. I'm assuming it comes out here. Then you drop down again to the water. And then you're vulnerable because you can't fight when you're in the water. This map's chaos. I'm also not really convinced that it's a particularly good map because it's mostly a hallway, actually. I feel like if I came back and played this game more on any kind of like competitive level, like like start you know when you when you play a game enough to start caring about whether or not it has good design or not, as opposed to just being like, haha, this is a fun 30 minute game with my friends. Uh, I probably wouldn't be a big fan of that one. Oh, this one looks good. I like these layouts. Especially since I like to play as Lupus, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> and it's cheating, because you get to float, float around, which is just clearly better. Float over here, take cover behind crates. This is a good amount of variety. Like, this is... Oh look, there's, there's a pathway for Vela. So you, there, you, there you have reason to play as a water character. I haven't seen lava yet. But it's definitely worth noting that there are like different pieces of terrain in the environment. Is this going to be the last one? Yeah, tunnels. It's definitely worth noting that like, yeah, there's like water in, in the environments here and there. So like Vela can get around and obviously the fact that Lupus's jet, jet boots still work in this mode means that he can use some do some platforming tricks to outmaneuver people. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this level. It's a bunch of tunnels and not not much landmark. It encourages a lot of one-on-one -on -one confrontations with people that are like head to head face to face. Without a lot of like interesting maneuverability, it is mostly just a hallway. But I also just it would take a while for me to get any to get any kind of internal map about how this place is laid out because this looks all the same. So the maps are a bit of a mixed bag. But this was pre-online, and it's also a side content piece of the game. And I definitely got time out of this. Like I, I think I was saying earlier that like one of the reasons I think I didn't beat the game, besides just how difficult the tribal hunt is to logistically ever get done as a kid, is the fact that uh, at some point, if the game was enough of a pain in the ass, it was more fun to just like play this with your friends. Just go play the multiplayer and shoot at each other. This would have been around the time that I would have also been playing Perfect Dark and Turok Rage Wars with my friends. Which is, or Turok. And that was the only Turok game that I played until the, until I played 1 and 2 recently as Let's Try's on this channel. But I played, I played Rage Wars a lot. The multiplayer one. And Perfect Dark's one of my favorite games. But those are, th those got more time than this game did out of us. Probably because they're kind of our better shooters. But this definitely got some time out of us. Along with Silent Bomber and some other, like, side features. Because Silent, Silent Bomber also strangely had a multiplayer like this, where you unlocked a bunch of characters and levels over the course of playing the game a bunch, and then you just went at each other. Alright guys, well this has been my anticipated return to classic games series. Warts and all, full of frustrations, but also just neat nostalgia and charm and nonsense. And it's just neat to see this bizarre little period with the game that's like not... It's a little bit of a stepchild. Like, it's a... Uh, it's not hated or anything, but it's definitely not remembered quite as well as the games that came out immediately before and after it. So it's kind of fun to go back to this specific thing. Next up, we'll continue the rotation. I don't remember what's next. I'll check my schedule, but this is the uh, time slot that does a AAA game and an indie game and a puzzle game and then a classic game. Maybe not in that order, whatever order's written down. And so the rotation will continue. And after I play three more games in this time slot, we'll be, we'll be back to doing this again, where I'll pick something older 
but, uh, potentially for my childhood, because I just have certain games I just want to get around to, but also maybe not always. Sometimes it'll be something that I never played either. Just a chance to intentionally do a throwback for a while. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.